the head. That's a great body shot by Ryan Garcia. Stationary. And throw that left hook around the guard right there. But against Tank Davis, he showed he wasn't so good at Tank. Against Ryan Garcia, he's got to throw punches. What if he doesn't see it? Uh, Block his uh, elbows are a little bit wide. Shawnee should be content with just touching the glove, touching the jab. Absolutely. Duarte said, I don't respect Ryan that much. And that right hand lowers when he pulls back. That's why they left. I'll expose him. There's a left. Just that hook. You saw the first knockdown against Javante David. <laughs> left hand. Missed with a shot. Ryan is such a reactive fighter. Like, he's a twitchy... <laughs> Duarte from using his offense. One hand for Duarte. Two things that are going to wear Ryan down. Being in his face. There you go. See, now he's stabbing him in the body. That's what's going to do it. Shots right now. You know, he, he's, he's taking his power shots. A, a little bit of draining mentally. Threw a left hook from there. One thing to be aggressive and throw a lot of against Alexis of Ryan Garcia. Yep, you see the reflexes, you see the speed. I come from the school of get, get what you can get. That's all you're going to get. Right hand again. Boxing today, so Tank Davis is on a special level. For Oscar Duarte, it's to make Ryan Garcia uncomfortable. You see, Sean, there was a missed opportunity. He's alternating his speed and his power. He didn't get me hit, hit there. Yeah. It's a weird angle that's happening right there. Nice body work from Duarte. He's got Ryan in the corner. Pass me the DQ. Here, like these are the situations where you've got to throw a six, seven, eight punch combination. That's what speed does. It makes you think twice. It yeah. intimidates you. R E S P. Garcia to the corner and do nothing. Look right there. That's what you should just dig in the body. Dig in the rib. Try to hit anything he can, fair or foul. Keeping those counter punches at bay. He's spelling it out for him. You've got to put more pressure. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, Ryan is stable with what he's been doing. Go 40 36 in favor of Ryan Garcia. Now he's letting his hands. He got, you got to beat Duarte. The fighter has pivoted. Good shot right there. Duarte took those punches. Good. But I want to see how it's going to be like six, seven, and eight rounds. Not only that, but look, we expected. They've never been taught it. Yeah, that's something you got to be taught by Mayweather. That hooks by Duarte. Sean, it's almost something in the amateur. Probably the best round of the fight. For Garcia tried that, that Lou Campbell. Body shot. Yeah. Oh, that uppercut scored big time. For probably every round, but it's, it's, it's starting to get a little tough because he's letting the guy get. Shoulder roll there. How do you feel about it? I, I mean, listen, I'm a boxer. Are you in the fight in terms of getting through to your. Shoot the right over the foot. He's getting comfortable in there. let very many people get through to him. Yeah, seeing the shoulder roll. It doesn't look right. When you, when you turn yourself sideways like that, it looks like you don't want to fight. Sergio, you know, when a fighter goes out there on his own devices. There you go. There's a couple of men. Meanwhile, Ryan is pretty much he is content to make that. I mean, you can't, I can't explain that. To, to, uh, to, to Duarte at this point. The adjustment back to the game plan of moving. And Her body is, is too strong. Jabbing, using the speed. He sets up the power. Upwards and then pop that jab. That punch again. Look, it's not a style we've ever seen Ryan Garcia fight because he has his force to move his feet. When he throws, he... Nice left hand gets 
Chris Duarte. I think we're a from the fans right now if you're moving that much. I like it. I like it. I think it's, it's the right move to make. Right. First, first momentum. Maybe not winning the round, but momentum. Four of Ryan Garcia's 24 fights have gone the distance. <laughs> Come on, now. I got to get y'all to laugh sometime. Fans that were actually praising Garcia's entrance. I want to see hook to the head, hook to the body. The La Jolla, right now we're seeing... Version of he just does not know how to punch and move, which is why people are now booing. But these are... Oh, 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 he's hurt him! His foundation is gone! Clockwise, checking him. And look at that shot right there. This hook right there, landing on the tip. No matter how good a shape you are, your legs betray. A lot of fighters don't know how to do that. They don't know how to capitalize. Now let's watch the count here. Keep that reach advantage and continuing to move the Devin Hayes. Stripping him from using that jab. And the pesky jab with Progray. And that's going to be the key, I think, is body punching. Oh, right? Yeah, he does, because he's, he's an old-school fighter. I mean, you know, we have Lomachenko. Haney had to go down to the body to win that relentless pressure. Smart southpaw with jab. But he's very calm. Doesn't waste energy. Standing in front of Haney. Bare Makes his debut at 140. On the feet in this fight, so I think slowing down from that, from that angle. The big easy. Woo! Stepping him downstairs, throw some foot fakes. Maybe it's too early to be throwing haymakers like that if you're program. We saw that before when Regis left. That's what that's what Regis needs to do. He was defending his body, came upstairs. So we spoke to him that they have a secret punch. Regis program is worried about Devin Haney's holding. Haven't seen a lot of that yet. And then you can throw the big left hand. That, you know, start getting good to you. You got to put it back down. Pesky jabs I was talking about. Double and tripling up the jab. But that was a picture perfect shot. Straight right hand. Yo, but Haney's doing it with. Yeah. Power. Well, you don't see a lot of guys coming crack. Some swelling around the eyes of. Oh, Haney on a almost. Watch out for the right uppercut as well, program. It looks like. Biggest mistake of Progray is fighting at this distance. Gather both feet are, are stepping in the range that Devin Haney works. Just got out of the shower. Fresh as a day at moving around the center. Beautiful one, two. There's that angle from the softball stance. This is just beautiful power boxing by Devin Haney. Got about an eight foot size giant werewolf and hoping to, and hope that that would work. He's at least and go get after Haney here. Look at that. Haney's never staying in front of you too long. Julian, what are you seeing so far? That's that's how that's how you get the job done. Had plenty to say about what would happen tonight. Devin Haney was a, just waiting for program to come up short. Why was I so dominant? Why did I make it look so easy? Domination. Yeah, we got a 44 in favor of Devin Haney. Haney had Devin Haney landed a couple of more pop for it. I think Devin Haney is making the guy believe it. Number been disciplined. He has followed the game plan. Good body shot. Haney stung him again. Reads his program and still refused. And said, uh -uh, I'm going to stick to the game plan. I'm going to stay on the outside. Look out, program. Of course, a lot of people didn't believe that. We saw him not stepping with his shots. That range right there is no good for him. Right there, so the uppercut's gonna be open. Oh, the right hand, nice combination. Beautiful. You know, uh, Haney's getting shots in and then getting the angles. He's textbook. So wait for that as well. Look at that body shot. Devin Haney, I don't think they're gonna be jumping in line to fight this guy, are they, Chris? But I'm telling you right now, this, this fight is gonna be hard to... Just get rid of this clown. He's right there. Go ahead, go ahead, Dan. Right here. That's exactly what speed does, Tom. Tames. He tamed the power puncher from Bill Haney because all week long there's been skepticism. What's to do with the southpaw, but he's doing it so perfectly. And one foot is, you know, so there's a malfunction. Boxing 101. Yeah, I was going to say, Devin, his father said, let's get this clown out of there. Oh, I've got to do something. I don't any of them. You do have to start to wonder how much more. Everything's gone right for Haney. Goes to the corner of Regis program more. 
Yeah, even with Haney, man, this is incredible what we're watching. I mean, his eyes and his reflex skillful, skill-wise, but then, I mean, look at all that. I don't think Progre's limited. I think Devin Haney's making him seem that way. Opponent hurt like that and not charge in. Are you in the ring? For re for, we just, we just, at this awesome, awesome performance. Devin Haney stops it. Still has to be careful against a puncher like Regis Progre. Progre still trying to find a way in. Yes, yeah, the jab. If it ain't the jab, it's the uppercut. Look at that uppercut right there. Look at that. Well, you got to give credit to Progre, though. Yeah, maybe it's now time to get a little bit. Going to let the corner stop it. But he's out. As Devin Haney as a boxer, he was going to improve to change the, the, the momentum of this fight. He's so cool and calm and collected. My game plan coming to the ring if I was with yeah, body shot. Because you know the moment you move, he's gonna move. Haney's pitching a no hit, a no hitter. Seven. I think Program has resigned out of this fight now. Progre, though, is he indeed? Aggressive Progre tries to come in the front door. You can 99, 98, 99%? They're all, all on Haney's part. <laughs> he wants a knockout, Chris. The more he goes looking for the, the big punches, he's going to get hit with big punches. Uh, Esau Cruz and Sean Dennis. He is credentialed, and he can sell. And he may be the new...